Hello guys! Today I want to show you a Steffi face doll that I got recently. I mean, I basically just got the head. I had to wash it, clean it up. It was in a very used condition from eBay. Uh, right now I just posted it temporarily onto this Dreamtopia doll body. As you soon will see, the neck peg here is damaged and I don't really have uh, any means or I didn't manage to glue the missing part back onto the peg to make it uh, usable again. I quite like her with this pink outfit to be honest so it's a great pity that this body is ruined maybe in the future i will manage to somehow restore this neck i tried with epoxy and with all kind of really strong glues um, because i still have the missing part that can be attached on top to keep the head in place but somehow those glues never really held down and it was a disaster so today uh, I went to the Barbie fair, the local bar Barbie fair here, and I purchased this Nikki doll. I am always on the lookout for Nikki dolls because of their uh, unique skin color. I usually have darker skin dolls that I need to rebody, so those Nikki ones are quite useful. Sadly, they go for very high prices on Amazon. And in general, those fashionista lines are hard to come by around here, so I was very happy to find this one. It's from uh, 2011, so not quite a decade. Since I enjoy deboxing dolls off camera more, <laughs> I jumped over to the next step. Um, this one is already freed from the plastic. It's obviously from the Dreamhouse series. Um, here you can see the name again, Nikki. I wonder if Nikki Minaj was a thing in 2011, probably. Yeah, she already probably had an album out. So I don't watch the movies. I have no idea about the dream house. I mean, I've come across it since there are so many dolls that are partially even very adorable, but I'm I'm not fond of movies or anything like that. Um here we see that there was this ring attached doesn't look bad for a little girl probably it's quite fun to to play around with this so in case anyone wants it let me know I'll see maybe I can give it away or maybe she can wear it as an as a bracelet without a head zombie with a bracelet without a head no Let's see. The dress is quite artificial. I like those things here though, this uh, gilet or what you call it. I actually made one myself uh, recently that's also furry. I didn't even know that they indeed produce those in mass. That could be reused. The dress probably. I'm gonna get rid of it's too mainstream for me. I removed her from the plastic. I must say there's nothing better to unpack a brand new fashionista from those times. It's really really cool to feel this totally new and sturdy body. The shoes are really really nice for winter, they are cute find them very cute. They will fit to the Christmas outfit that I recently bought. I removed this 
gilet cape thingy it's really very very basic you guys can probably even sew it yourself it's just a flexible band uh, with a bit of fur so <laughs> that's kind of a disappointment i like the necklace i'm relieved that she has a little ring that's really cool what I can already feel from touching her hair that we will be having quite a glue problem. I didn't know about those, but obviously even this uh, simple line of Dreamhouse Fashionistas had the glue head. So I can prepare for a long and tiring head removal because those gluey ones are always very, very hard to remove. They get stuck or at least it's a bit icky. So I'm gonna undress her now. Because this dress is gonna go. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm not a fan. I will maybe copy the, the pattern, like make myself a sewing pattern from this, but otherwise... Um, it's not in my taste. So the head came off quite well. Just make sure that you always pre-warm it with a hair dryer, otherwise you may damage parts. Especially with the glue seepage, it's always good to make sure to melt the glue beforehand. In this case it really was easier than I expected. I always cut off those ends because they usually just make problems when swapping heads yeah that's about it i mean it's a bit bent so you can see i had to use a bit of let's see how this is gonna turn out with this doll with the steffi head Sadly, her complexion is a bit more pinkish than the body. It's very hard to find a body like this nowadays from the 80s. Um, in the 80s, they had different colorings. They had different shades of dolls. Let's see. Hmm. The movement is much better. Adorable. Really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna dress her up uh, in the Christmas outfit and then she's ready to rock the winter with this new body.